It'll sure be good to see my cousin Jed again. I can't wait to meet him. Like, what does Jed do, Fred? He makes monsters. Monsters? You know what? <laughs> I just remembered I've got something on the stove. And me and Scoob have to go back. Relax, you scaredy cats. Jed works for a special effects studio. They make fake monsters for movies. Well, here we are. Monstrous fright and magic. Monsters while you wait. Sure. And like, do you mind if we wait in the van? Jeepers! What happened here? Like, I'll never understand creative types, but I do groove on their style. <laughs> Jed! It's Fred! This place has been completely ransacked. All right, gang. Let's split up and see if we can find any clues. Like all the Scooby snacks in this room are making me hungry. I bet you can't find all of them. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to find out how to open this door. That's the switch over there, but I don't know how to get to it. Maybe there's a clue somewhere. <laughs> This key card must open up some restricted area. Great! You found a clue. It's some sort of key card. Hmm. Bingo. Now try to see if you can reach that switch, Scooby. Great job, Scooby. I'll go show this clue to the others. Hey, Scooby, Velma and Daphne went to check out the workshop that way. Huh? You'll need to slide down that cable to follow them. Oh boy, ice cream! 
snacks. Scooby, I'm so glad you're here. You've got to help Velma. She's been cornered by these two huge rats. Try to scare them off. Scare them? I'm scared. <laughs> Good job, Scooby. You've defeated the rats. Or rather, some sort of rat-like special effects creatures. <laughs> Here are the clues. Now, this key card must cure the this key card must open up some restrict. Let's have a look. Don't forget to talk to me if you find anything else. This looks like a radio beacon. Like, have you found any food? When you do, just look for me in my trusted porta kitchen and I'll cook us up one of my delicious meals. <laughs> Hey, Scoob, have you found any food? I'm starving! Well, at least there aren't any real monsters here, are there? Like, the sooner we find Jed, the sooner we can have lunch. Oh boy, lunch! Alright, time for some cooking! Oh yeah, that'll be tasty! I wonder what else we should put in. 
ice cream? Like, what a cool idea! Bon appetit, Scooby-Doo! Sweet, sweet chocolate! Like, that's a great idea! Like, hurry up and bring back more food! I'm famished! mess did you get into, Scoob? <laughs> I call it Mubber. A remarkable soy-based formula that can take any shape. And it only breaks down under UV light. Isn't that right, Marcy? With Mubber, Mr. Stanton has perfected the most lifelike special effects monsters ever. And would you believe it even tastes good? Yummy! Mr. Stanton, pleased to meet you. I'm Fred, this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. We're friends of Jed Jones. Jed? That thief? Look around, he caused all this so he could steal my creations. He reprogrammed the animatronics monsters, and now they're attacking people. How can you be sure it's Jed? He's missing, and so's my mubber, UV lamps, some animatronics. That's all the proof I need. Mr. Stanton, I don't believe Jed would ever do such a thing. We'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Do you have any idea where Jed could have gone? He had a delivery to Chinatown for the New Year's parade. Stop. Seems kind of quiet for a parade. You should not be here. The dragon is angry. Dragon? dragon? And you are? My name is Maggie Z. I'm in charge of the New Year's celebration. We're looking for my cousin Jed. He was delivering. Jeez. Where's Maggie? Well, dragon or not, we'll solve this mystery. Scooby, old pal. Like, I'll be right there, old pal. Like, come back to see me if you find any more food, okay? Hello, sir. I'm Fred Jones, and this is Daphne Blake from Mystery Inc. Hello. Pleased to meet you. My name is Ho Fang, and I own this antique shop. Of course, there aren't too many customers since the dragon showed up. Here. Some of the New Year Parade sponsors wanted a more modern celebration this year. They commissioned, how do you say, special effects.
found a clue. Let's have a look at it. Hey, Scooby-Doo! Interesting. The fortune inside the cookie looks like some kind of binary code. Like you found some food. Bon appetit, Scooby Doo. Like bring some more ingredients, and I'll like make more recipes. Hello, Scooby. Did you find any secrets?
Dooby dooby doo. Wow. Hmm. Sounds like that Sim 2 is one tough cookie. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> you are marked by the curse of the dragon. Leave now before it is too late. Zen 2 has spoken. Look, a manhole. It looks like Zen 2 went into the sewer. Something about this mystery smells fishy. Keep a lookout, guys. I'm going to find Fred and Daphne. I can't see anything down there. Uh, Shaggy. This could be a key to some sort of machinery. Some monstrous Fred and Magic device, maybe. This piece of mubber is shaped like a lizard scale. Maybe it's from that dragon. Oh, hi, Scooby. Shaggy fell in the sewers. Shaggy fell in the sewers? Then he is lost. The sewers are Zentuo's domain. Oh, no. Hmm. What do you know about this Zentuo? He is a very powerful ghost who controls the great dragon. He has cursed this city. You should leave. Do you know where I can find him? One does not find him. It is he who finds you, like he found your friend. Mmm, 
shrimps. There you are, Scooby Doo. Here are the clues. Interesting. The fortune inside the, the answer. Interesting. No.
Cheese, please. Oh! 
fish, rotten eggs, stale rice, and, uh, I do believe tarragon. Has anyone seen Daphne? Help! Help! It sounded like it was coming from the temple. This looks like a bell you'd find in a temple. Maybe that's where Zentuo is hidden. This is a counterweight used in emergency stairs. Maybe those stairs lead to Zentuo's hideout. This is a Pakwa, an important symbol in Taoism. It could be a key to some hidden secret.
time for some cooking. An apple a day is nowhere near enough. <laughs> Cotton candy. Now that should dress up this dish. Ta-da! Shaggy's special stew surprise. Pickles? Yes, please. Like hurry up and bring back more food? I'm famished. Be do.
Oh. 
Scooby Dooby Doo! if I could get a suit like that.
This is a packing slip for UV lamps. This could explain the strange light coming from the dragon's eyes. This is a menu for a neighborhood restaurant. Maybe Zentuo's hideout is there. This is a lever to activate a crane. Could Zentuo be using it to hold up the dragon in the air? Cool, we've got enough clues. Now we need to find which ones are real. I wonder why the animatronics have gone haywire. Wrong answer, Scooby. Try again. I wonder why the animatronics have gone haywire. This doesn't add up. The answer is elsewhere. I wonder why... I don't know. I wonder why the animatronics have gone haywire. No, I don't... I wonder why... This doesn't add up. I wonder why... I'm pretty sure that... I wonder... No, I don't... I wonder... No, I wonder... Of course. The fortune inside the giant cookies. It's the computer code used to reprogram the robots. Hmm. Where do you think that dragon came from? This doesn't add up. The answer is elsewhere. Hmm. You're right, Scooby. The dragon scale is made out of mubber, which means it was made by monstrous fright and magic. Ho Fong said the dragon had strange eyes. I wonder what he meant. Wrong answer, Scooby. Try again. Ho Fong said... I'm pretty sure that Ho Fong said the dragon... Wrong answer. Ho Fong... This doesn't... Ho... Good answer! Zen Tuo must have put UV lamps inside the dragon's eyes to deal with any renegade animatronics. Jinkies! We solved the mystery! Look, it's Zen Tuo. So, you thought you could defeat Zen Tuo? You and your mutt are no match for me. Mutt? <laughs> Sausage for Scooby-Doo!
Hi, Scooby-Doo. All right, time for some cooking. Onions, like I'm crying tears of joy. You should get more ingredients, Scooby, old pal. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me, Scooby. That was very brave of you. Scooby Dooby Doo! Zentuo is on top of that warehouse. We have to find a way up there. <laughs> Hitting 
my dragon! Let's see who Zen Tuo really is. It's Maggie Z. It was her disappearing act that gave her away. Quite a trick, until I realized she was conveniently near a sewer entrance. Using the dragon as a distraction, she could drop down into the sewer and be gone. <laughs> like a man's voice I know what you're all thinking that voice I know Jed and and that wasn't him you sure this is the place I've pinpointed the source of Maggie Z's radio transmissions. This is it. Like, are you sure they didn't come from that burger joint we passed earlier? <laughs> I'm just asking. Wait, I know this place. Rock and Roller Coaster Land. It's a theme park started by one of my favorite musicians, the Guitar Ghoul. I don't like the sound of that. Who is this Guitar Ghoul? Nobody knows. He appears and disappears where and when he wants to. And who are you? Alvin Wiener, the Guitar Ghoul's biggest fan. Tonight, he's on a rampage. He's frightened everyone else away. This is a ticket for the haunted house attraction. The guitar ghoul may be hiding there.
the trap piece!
Scooby Doo. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
So, have you found any clues? Yes, thanks to Scooby. According to this surveillance tape, the park has been plagued by a number of disturbing events. Like, would you define disturbing, please? First, rides started going crazy. Then animatronics began chasing people around. It was as if they had a life of their own. This sounds like sabotage. Here's the strange thing. The signal controlling the robots seemed to be coming from Ghoul Mountain in the water park. Okay, gang, let's split up and look for clues. Scooby and Shaggy, you check out the water park. We'll try to find Alvin and learn more about this guitar ghoul. I was afraid he'd say that. This tape shows attractions going out of control and animatronics attacking people. Could it be sabotage? These springs come from the hamburger-shaped trampolines. Maybe the guitar goal uses them to move around. This is a photograph showing people in the roller coaster. I wonder if the culprit is on it. Hey, Scooby. Hey, Scooby Doo. for me hey isn't that this guitar ghoul guy let's have a look one thing's for sure this guy rocks get it he rocks Woo! <laughs> 
You are, Raggy. Hey, Scoob. Boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, look what I found. A giant water slide. So what do we do now? I know. Let's have a sing-along. Zoinks. The guitar cool. <laughs> That's what you get for going head to head against the guitar ghoul. Hey guys, like we found someone. Uh, Nikki Starlight, right? Please, call me Nikki. Like she was the guitar ghoul's girlfriend. So why are you here, Miss Starlight? Like you, I'm trying to find out what's happening here. I can tell you this much. The Guitar Ghoul would never harm anyone. He couldn't possibly be behind this. Even though the clues say otherwise? Help! That sounds like Daphne. Daphne? It sounds like she's in the circus area. This is a tour album for a band called Deaf Potatoes. Hey, 
Doesn't the lead guitarist look like Alvin Weiner? That seems to be part of some food stand decoration. Maybe it's a clue to the Guitar Ghoul's hideout. This is a key to a souvenir stand. Maybe that's where the Guitar Ghoul is hidden. What's up, Scooby-Doo? Dress up this dish. Some marshmallows for texture.
out! Banana! A trap piece!
This is the music for an old guitar ghoul hit. Funny, it's attributed to N.S. Tennis ball. Maybe this comes from a midway attraction. Maybe it's a clue to the guitar ghoul's hideout. This is the hammer for the strongman's bell. Perhaps the guitar ghoul hid something important in there. This is a brochure for a circus sideshow. Perhaps we'll find clues to the guitar ghoul's identity there. Cool, we've got enough clues. Now we need to find which ones are real. I wonder how the guitar ghoul managed to sabotage all rides without anyone noticing. Interesting. The videotapes show an intricate network of tunnels connecting all rides. The guitar ghoul must have used them to move around unnoticed. There's something strange about that Alvin Wiener. I wonder how he's connected to this. Scooby, you won't believe this. Alvin Wiener was lead guitarist of Deaf Potatoes, a one-hit wonder band who once opened for the guitar ghoul. I wonder what Nikki's real relationship to the guitar ghoul is. This doesn't add up. The answer is elsewhere. I wonder what Nikki. Guess what, Scooby? According to the name on this sheet music, Nikki wrote the guitar ghoul's biggest hit. I think we solved the mystery, Scooby Doo. The guitar ghoul is about to be singing a new tune because this mystery is almost solved. So, you kids think that you can catch me? Think again! The guitar ghoul is unstoppable! Be warned, my music is always loud! And the hits never stop! He's gotta be broadcasting from the House of Mirrors! Let's go!
sausage for Scooby Doo. something just for you. Let's see if you can survive it. <laughs>
Alvin Wiener? You can't prove anything. Besides, I'm the victim here. What do you mean? Daphne, what we have before us is a story of jealousy. Mr. Wiener's band, Deaf Potato, was never a real success. He blamed his failure on the guitar ghoul, whom he saw as a rival. Wait, so like, you blamed yourself? Not quite. He was offered a way to destroy the guitar ghoul, literally from the inside. All he needed was this costume. Scooby? Mummer! Of course! Who gave you that costume, Mr. Wiener? They didn't offer their name. Just a chance for revenge. By sabotaging the Guitar Ghoul's popular theme park. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. So, who's the real ghoul? And why is he hiding? Not he. She! Yeah, Velma's right. I am the real Guitar Ghoul. But why the secret identity? I wanted to share my music, not my life. So I created the Guitar Ghoul disguise. Perhaps this uh, could remain our little secret, huh? Like our lips are sealed. Thanks, I appreciate it. In exchange, I've got some information which you might find interesting. They sure are doing a lot of renovations here. Well, as long as the cafeteria is open. From what Nikki heard, that place where Jed worked, Monstrous Fright and Magic, provided most of the new interactive exhibits here. All right, gang. Let's split up and look for clues. Mmm! <laughs> Dooby dooby doo! Uh, <clears throat> hey, you can't be here. The museum's not open yet, and no dogs allowed. Dogs? Where? Hello, sir. I'm Daphne Blake from Mystery Inc. We're here to help you with your monster troubles. Oh, sorry. I'm Joe Grimm, Chief of Security. Mr. Grimm, when did these strange occurrences start to happen? Uh, about two days ago, I'd say. It's those new exhibits, the dinosaurs and the suits of armors and the... the caveman. Caveman? A caveman, you say? Look, I don't know nothing, all right? Just that uh, strange things are going on here. Scooby-Doo, like, where were you? Good evening. I'm Fred Jones from Mystery, Inc. I'm Professor Stoker. Mystery, Inc. Aren't you the monster hunting kids? This is about the uh, caveman, isn't it? Can you tell me more about that caveman? There is no such thing. It is a scientific impossibility. It is a hoax. That's what it is. I see. Are you the museum's curator? De Nelly Vivante, at your service. I'm Velma Dinkley, and this is Scooby-Doo. Charmed. We hear you've been having troubles with some of your exhibits. 
interactive experiences, dear. Some of the robotic characters have gone out of control and scared away most of the workers. Interesting. Great, Scooby, you found a clue. This photograph of the caveman seems to have been taken in the dinosaur exhibit. Maybe we can find him there. found an apple! Scooby Snacks! 
some awesome barbecues. Barbecue? Mmm. I'm hungry. Well, guess what I have? Oh, right. A drumstick. Now, wait a minute. I was saving this for a special occasion. <laughs> Shaggy! Your drumstick!
can check out the medieval room while I investigate the undersea exhibit with Daphne. Hey, Scoob, I'll bet you they have some kind of barbecue in there. Oh, boy, a barbecue! There's some greasy black fluid on this dinosaur bone. This is a replica of the planet Saturn, named after the Roman god of time. Perhaps this has a hidden symbolic meaning. This metal chain may have been used by the caveman to scare away workers. This looks like a broom closet key. Maybe we'll find information about who the caveman is in there. Wow, Professor. This museum must have changed a lot. Not for the better, I'm afraid. This isn't science. It's... It's entertainment. I... 
I can't stand it. Do you know what that Vivante woman wanted to call this venerable institution? An amuseum. A muse and museum. A museum. Can you imagine? That's, uh, catchy. It's idiotic. Do you think we could examine the undersea exhibit? Well, it's kind of dangerous. Don't worry. This is what we do for a living. Some cheese, please? Oh! Hey, school, have you got any food? Sausages coming right up. Like, hurry up and bring back more food. I'm famished.
It's the right one. Scooby Dooby Doo. Oh, <laughs> 
This sword looks as if it was damaged through high voltage. Maybe... This fuse was probably removed to prevent the backup electrical system from working. Interesting. Maybe the motifs on this coat of arms indicate who the caveman really is. This contract was signed between Monstrous Fright and Magic and an anonymous company to share, quote, fringe benefits of museum operations, end quote. This looks as if it was part of a suit of armor. Maybe it was worn by the caveman. Oh boy, Scooby Snacks!
Scooby-Doo! 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 Sc
Scooby Doo. Still the problem of us being trapped in a cage. No problem, Fred. Good job, Scooby. Let's go find the others. This is a videotape of the caveman holding Fred and Daphne. Maybe that wasn't a live feed after all. This seems to be part of the scale model of the museum. Maybe that's a clue to the caveman's hideout. This guidebook for the museum must have come from the gift shop. There might be some more information there. The caveman must have used this to film himself with Fred and Daphne, to make it look as if it was a live feed. All right, let's try to solve this mystery. Help me identify the clues that will answer the following questions. Hmm, if the museum's not open yet, why are the dinosaurs outside operational? I'm pretty sure that fake dinosaur bone is covered in crude oil. Maybe the bobbing dinosaurs are really oil pumps. Do you think Monstrous Fred and Magic knew their dinosaurs were being used as oil pumps? I don't think so, Scooby. Do you think Monstrous Fred and Magic knew their dinosaurs were being used as oil pumps? I'm pretty. Do you think Mon wrong? Yet? Do you think Monstrous Fred and the contract? It awards Monstrous Fred and Magic a share of secondary revenues from the museum. They must have known about the oil. One thing puzzles me. When you rescued Fred and Daphne, the video monitor still showed them being held by the caveman. I'm pretty sure that's not the answer. One thing. Pu I'm pretty sure that one thing puzzles me. When you rescued Fred and Daphne, of course, the caveman filmed himself in front of Fred and Daphne, then fed a loop of the tape through the camera surveillance system to throw us off. I think we solved the mystery, Scooby-Doo. I think I've got it figured out. Zoinks! There! It's the caveman! Hey, Scoob! <laughs> Pepperoni! A pickle! <laughs> Yummy! Some cooking. You think so? Like, why not? Like, bring more ingredients, and I'll like make more recipes. Scooby? <laughs> 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 
lobster. What's new, Scooby-Doo? What's up, Scooby-Doo? Fan out and find Winslow Stanton.
Scooby Dooby Doo.
Cousin, uh, do you mind blasting the rest of this, too? Just as I suspected. Jed was trapped in that costume. She's right. I was framed. I discovered that Stanton was up to no good, so he trapped me in that costume to prevent me from ratting him out. I was in there the first time you came by. Jed, I'm so glad you're all right. Thanks to you, cousin. You won't get away with your lies, Jed. You won't get away, period. It's Stanton. Sounds like he's in the miniature city set. Well, well, well. Did you really think you'd get away with this? Stanton, not Jed. Marcy. But why? Because I helped create Mubber, but you took all the credit for it. I thought that if I gave you a bad name, I could start up my own business. Mr. Stanton, is this true? Marcy, I didn't know you felt this way. You should have talked to me about it. Destroying the reputation of monstrous fright and magic would destroy Mubber. 
I'm sorry if I hurt you, Marcy. I'd like you to become a partner in the company. If you can forgive me, that is. Yeah, I think I can do that. Another mystery solved. Are you coming, Shaggy? Just making myself something for the road. I call it a mother witch. <laughs> huh? What gives? <laughs> now that's what I call a light snack. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,